Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be building this DIY experimental compost bin for somewhere to compost things such as food waste or other organic materials. Now, normally leaving organic waste on an open compost pile would definitely encourage pests such as rats or mice, which in our area would also tend to encourage things like venomous snakes. To hopefully stop this issue, this compost design is fully sealed with the only openings being via tiny metal mesh gills. This should also stop any kind of insects or other maggots finding their way into the bin. The main body of the bin is a black plastic 40 gallon bin. This one was bought from a local store and cost less than $5. Being black is designed to soak up heat from the sun which should increase the speed of composting. With the extra airflow it should also stop any bad bacteria from forming which could cause bad odours. As well as this there are also drainage holes in the lower sides and bottom open to the earth. This will allow any compost tea that may fall to drain out of the bottom of the bin and at the same time allow any earthworms to find their way into the bin to help with the composting process. Also, at the end of the video, I'll give you an update on how well our DIY compost bin version 2 is doing. So please watch until the end of the video. To start with, all the grill covers were modelled up in Fusion 360 and then printed on my trusty Prusa Mark III. To fit the grill covers was a relatively simple process. Marking up, drilling holes, and then cutting out the bin to the shape of the cover. A similar process was then carried out for the metal mesh grills. Marking up using the covers as a template, cutting to shape, drilling and fitting. I then repeated this process for the side vents, marking out using the side cover as a guide, drilling the holes, and using a jigsaw to cut out the hole. Now if you're wondering the reason that I'm doing this drilling and cutting work with a bin inside a tub, is to try and catch all of the plastic fragments generated. It actually seemed to work really well. Now one thing I didn't mention at the start was that I also added an internal mesh tube to aid with airflow within the compost. Similar to our open air DIY compost bin version 2. I'll add a card so you can click straight to that video if you haven't seen it already. These next few shots will give you a really good idea of how poor our soil quality actually is. In this area it consists of a sandy top layer with the underlying area baked hard by the sun, literally like concrete at times. The only way to dig in this type of situation is to soak the area up for 30 minutes or so and try and soften up the soil.
So here are the final shots of the finished experimental compost bin in place, ready to be filled and used. I do hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Please like if you did, or if you think this can be improved in any way, please feel free to add a comment below. As promised, I'll leave you with a quick update on how the DIY compost bin version 2 is doing. Many thanks for watching. I just wanted to show you the results of our new compost. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic to me. Really loamy soil, uh, moist, dark. It's great, not like the normal sand we get. Here you go. A little bit damp. Lots of insects and grubs in it. Very happy with that. And it's done that in not very long. Thank you.